Hey everybody, this is a quick walk around of my Castaway 100 Angler. I've had it now for almost about a year, um, and it being my first kayak, I, I thought it was a good starter one. And as I was using it, trying to decide uh, what I should modify on it, what I should add to it, because standard, what I did like about it was that it already had the pole holders on there. It had the box in the back with extra pole holders. Um, just a little compartment here for your cups and your phone um, and then a little netting up front. Uh, but the very first thing that I did, I actually already happen to have stadium chairs. This is the original chair. I just sit it right on top of there. Much more comfortable, especially when you're out fishing for a long time. Um, and then something more recently that I did was uh, got some sea deck foam for my boyfriend's kayak. We had tons of extra uh, C deck. So anyways, we cut out some templates, put it on there. And anyways, it's nice because when it gets wet, it can get be a little bit slippery and just having that C deck just adds a little bit more stability when you're getting in and out of the kayak. Okay. Um, the other thing I did was we worked up a anchor system and then went to Bass Pro, got this little buoy. And then I added this little chain link onto the eyelet of my kayak. So I added that to the eyelet of my kayak, and then that way it just uh, hooks on there. And then I can just disconnect it. This eyelet can just sit here and not, not have to put it through here. Um, anyways, what I did more recently, I watched a YouTube video by uh, Barry or Barry B. Sorry if I'm not saying it right. And he did, he has the exact same kayak and he did modifications to it, which I thought was really interesting. And I decided to do some of those myself. So I don't film when I go kayaking on the GoPro or anything like that. So I didn't add any of those mods. Uh, but what I thought was pretty cool was the adjustable foot pedals. It's on some of the other Pelicans, but it's not standard on the Angler, the Castaway. Um, so remove those. It was a little bit this is probably the hardest part to modify because you had to take out the rivets um, and then put this new track on there, which is really cool. So this is, uh, it's an adjustable foot pedal and just makes for a little bit more room in this smaller kayak. Um, the other thing that he did uh, was put this hatch in the front. So with there being just this little net, you can't really put anything in that compartment um, that to avoid it getting wet or anything like that. So putting this little hatch in here was really nice. So I just did that. I did that with a six and a half inch hole saw. Cut that out, then glued, screwed, and sealed around um, the edges of the hatch just because it's such a big hole that was cut. Um, but really neat. Got it on Amazon. So there's that. And then the other thing I did was if you have this one, you would know that the handles are not that great on the side. So adding these, again, bought off uh, Amazon, just screwed these in, just right above where they would be naturally. Just a lot easier to move around, okay? And then the other thing that I added that, which was really nice, was this Scotty track, uh, low profile track. It is a four inch. Again, got it on Amazon. So this one actually came with the track, the rod holder with the adapter and everything. And then this one right here, I got extra so I can move it, switch it around as I take it back on the water and see where I like it best. Uh, and of course there's more adapters to add to it. And then um, it didn't come with the hardware. So I went and just got some stainless steel screws, some number 10s and uh, glued, screwed, all that good stuff. Put those in there. So pretty simple projects there. And then um, I needed a kayak cart. And because this one's a lightweight, I didn't need anything super special. I just need to be able to carry it with one arm with all my uh, gear in the back. I just got this little one also by Pelican. And it's just super simple. You just strap it around. Some people might not feel too fond of that for their kayaks. Again, mine's a small one, super lightweight. So I found out that's what worked with it best. Anyways, those were just a few mods that I did. I also got uh, a leash for my oar. 
I like that this has the paddle holders on there. And then I just, um, it came with a carabiner, but I wasn't too fan of that one that it came with. Um, so I just got the leash, just clipped it again to this eyelet, eyelet right there. And then it came with two more. Um, I'll put the links up for all the, um, all the things that I bought on Amazon. It was really easy again, just watching that uh, mod video that Barry did on YouTube. He put all the links on there, just made it easy. I just went, I just started buying away on that. Uh, again, the seed deck, I think for a roll was like $150, but it does yield a lot. We did my boyfriend's entire kayak. We did mine, his Yeti, um, and we found other things to do with it and we still have more left over, so. Anyways, I hope this helps because getting into the Pelican, I didn't know what accessories I could do, what I could modify. All it was was I, I put a bunch of stickers on it, just had fun with it, and then I just said, well, I'll see how it goes. I'm going to use it for a while and see what I need, and I definitely needed another place to put the rod. So this uh, track system by Scotty with the adapters is really cool. I like it. I think the other thing that I'm going to add to it is a trolley system for the anchor. Um, I have more eyelets to install for that, but I really feel like that instead of just making a bunch of holes, I really got to plan that out a little bit better and see which way is more beneficial as I'm sitting in the kayak to kind of just move that around. But anyways, thanks for watching.